YouTubers, this is Mark Warren from Mark Warren Photography and I'm back with another photography tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's really simple but plagues a lot of photographers new and old, and that's shooting people with glasses. Let me give you the backstory. Years ago, I was shooting a yearbook project for the company that I work for, and I photographed maybe about 98-99% of all the department. One of the ladies in particular didn't want to have her picture taken, so I walked up to her and I said, Miss Karen, how come you don't want to have your picture taken? You haven't had your picture taken with me yet. And she goes, well, I don't take pictures. I said, why not? And she said, well, I don't like taking pictures because there's always glare in my glasses. And I said, okay. I said, do you take pictures without your glasses? No, I don't like to take pictures without my glasses. I said, okay. I said, I can fix this for you. I said, I guarantee I could take one shot of you and you will not have any glare in your glasses. She goes, that's not possible. Everybody I've shot with before, they said you have to either take off your glasses or take out your lenses, and I'm not taking the lenses out my glasses. I said, no, no, I'm not going through all that. I don't want to mess with anybody's glasses. They're already expensive enough without me trying to break them. I said, I guarantee I'll take one shot of you with your glasses on and you will not have glare in the lenses. And she goes, I don't believe you. You want to put money on that? I said, I have a quarter in my pocket. <laughs> she laughed, and I said, just give me a shot on it. And she agreed. So I set up my light, set up the camera. I took the shot, showed her the back of the camera, and she was like, oh, my goodness. She goes, I can't believe it. There's no glare in my, my glasses. She said, this is the best picture I've ever had of me with my glasses on. She goes, how can you do it? And other people have told me that it can't be done. I said, it's really simple physics. I said, you know, I've been wearing glasses all my life. The first thing I do is get out of bed and I reach to put my glasses on. I said, it's really not that hard once you understand light and angles. So, 64% of Americans actually wear glasses. 11% maybe wear, 11% uh, more maybe wear contacts exclusively. And then there's a percentage of those that wear glasses and contacts. So, in your shooting careers, you may find... One out of two people that you shoot probably wears glasses. Uh, so, you're going to get plagued with that, with having to shoot people with glasses. It's really easy. So, right now, as you can see, I'm already talking to you and there's glare in my lenses. <laughs> That's because I have an Einstein studio flash with a modeling light turned on. So, I'm not even going to show you the lighting or anything like that or set up because it's not important. Important things about angle of light. As you can see, as I start turning towards the light, the light is actually almost about at my head level right now and it's coming into my lens and notice this angle here is almost the same angle as the light. Now if you ever play pool, shot pool, you know, billiards, uh, if the cue ball hits something at one angle, it's going to deflect and bounce off at the opposite angle. So light is coming in and now it's bouncing right back into the direction of the camera. So that's why you see glare in my glasses. So, if I slowly start turning my head this way, you notice the glare is minimized. It's not, there's more on this lens, but there's less over here because we're starting to get off that angle. The umbrella that I have is a little round, so the light's a little bit different. It's still coming directly at me, but there's a little bit of wrapped surface here, a circular surface, so it's causing glare up until about this point. So now there's no glare at all. Now, if you still want to see glare in my glasses, you would actually have to move the camera position probably somewhere over there, over in this direction here, to see the actual glare of my glasses. So, how do you fix this? I typically like to short light people, and again, I turn them into the light. So, if they're wearing glasses, this is typically what I'm going to get if I have my light at a level that's the same height as their head. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm actually going to turn this light around and I'm going to raise the light up. So, now I've raised my light. I'm going to turn this back around now. Raise the light. It's above my head, maybe about, uh, I'd say maybe about a foot and a half, maybe a foot, foot and a half. It's above. If I'm looking up, yes, I see the glare in my glasses. It's reflecting down and again, back right into the lens. But the minute I tip my head down, look what happens. All the glare is gone. Really simple. So, I've got the light raised. I don't have the um umbrella actually angled as of yet, but I am going to tip the angle down just a little bit now. So it's pointing again back at the subject. Again, if I tip my head up, there's the glare. Because I'm looking directly parallel, my lenses 
are directly parallel to the actual surface area of the umbrella. If I tip my head down, now the glare is gone, now I can turn back. Now I can pretty much turn that person anywhere around here and you're not seeing any glare or reflection in the, in the lens. The angle of my glasses are now here, but the angle of the light is here. We're at two different angles. The light's bouncing down this way, maybe that way. I might see the glare if I was sitting down from this position or something lower, but I'm not seeing it at the view of the camera. Really simple physics. So that's how you can take a shot of somebody and not get glare in their lenses. It's really easy. So whether you're working with a natural light, a studio light, um, doesn't matter. Just think about the angle that the light is hitting the lens and change it, either by turning them a little bit away from it, turning them maybe in the opposite direction, lifting their head up, lifting their hair, head down. So that's my quick and easy tip for the day, for the week. Um, stay tuned. We'll have more photography tutorials coming up again soon. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or put them in your comments here on YouTube. And be sure to subscribe to us if you really like our videos. We'll be trying to post at least one video a, a week. Uh, we may not always be able to keep that schedule, but we're going to try our best to follow to it. So again, this is Mark Warren, Mark Warren Photography. Uh, have fun, YouTubers. Practice this stuff. It's really easy. Again, if you've got a pair of sunglasses, if you don't wear glasses, wear some sunglasses and see if you can set up the same thing. You can use a hot light, like a, a tungsten uh, work light or something like that uh, from Home Depot and practice the same thing. Or use your window lights. It's free. <laughs> so practice that. It'll make it perfect. Have fun shooting. Thanks again.